Hi and welcome to another video by Couches Campers. Today we're looking at a new 2011 Montana Mountaineer Edition 324 RLQ 5th wall. I'm going to take a few minutes and walk you around this coach. One of the first things you'll notice on the front of this coach is going to be its nice molded fiberglass cap. It is sloped and pointed for really good aerodynamics. Also notched back on the corners allowing for max turn technology. Great for short bed trucks giving you a larger turning radius. Also extra turning radius even if you have a large bed truck. We have a hitch vision mirror in the front. Also has an LED light up here making it easier to hook up. This unit has a large storage compartment under the overhang here. It's a metal bottom so you can throw firewood or generator or something uh, in here. It has the battery housing in here. Also the hydraulic pump systems housed in here. And also the brain box for all the wireless remote control system is in here as well too. This coach has power front jacks which work by push button or by wireless remote. Also has the quick pull pins on the jacks making it easier to drop the feet. This coach is equipped with medallion high gloss fiberglass exterior. A little nicer than the standard Phylon fiberglass you'll find on a lot of fifth wheels. It has a security light up in the corner here. Also we have a large A&E power awning. This awning is push button from inside or also works off the wireless remote control system. This unit has deep tent safety glass windows which are black frame little nicer than the white frame windows which turn black over time. We have a very large storage compartment here. It's got a couple lights in here, place to hang some of your uh, crank handles. Also has TV mounts here. The TV in the bedroom could be slipped off and right onto this mount here, allowing you to watch TV from outside. Right behind the door here we have an electric outlet and also a little door holder. This is a 30 inch wide entry door with radius top. Also has a porch light up above the door. Large folding entry handle. This coach is total alum, aluminum construction plus. Basically the plus is the stamp steel studs in the roof system. Triple entry step. This coach has 16 inch aluminum tires and also has eight lug wheels and they are Goodyear Marathon tires. This coach is equipped with two outdoor speakers on the main slide out here. We have power rear jacks. Also have a four inch steel bumper with an aluminum cover over top of it. This coach also has a nice ladder to go up the back, check for maintenance and things. Has a detachable power cord, this is 50 amp service. This power cord also lights up here, telling you that it is plugged in and has power. On the back corner here, this is where you can fill the fresh water tank the old way of sticking a hose just in the hole and letting it fill up. This coach is also equipped with Trailair Equiflex suspension and also an enclosed underbelly. Here we have the furnace exhaust and the 10 gallon gas electric water heater. We have the stove exhaust and the refrigerator vents as well. We have another security light up here. The dump station down here, pretty easy to get to. On this side of the big storage compartment, we have our docking station. The docking station has a light here. We have hot and cold outside shower. We have the water heater bypass, the winterizing valve, the power flush or power fill for the fresh water tank. We've got city water, black water, and also the winterizing fill up. 
We've got our black tank dump, a gray tank dump, low point water drains for hot and cold, and we have our battery disconnect and cable or satellite hookups all located in one central area. Up here a little further, we have our power front jacks, power rear jack button, and also the individual on-offs for the hydraulic slide-outs where you can turn them on and off individually if you choose to. We'll take a few minutes and walk you around the coach on the inside. This coach has a dry weight of 10,920 pounds. It has a carrying capacity of 3,335 pounds according to Keystone. One of the first things you see when you walk into this coach is the Norcold 8 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. This has a temperature control on it and also the nicer handles. These handles actually will latch in the partial open position allowing you to store the refrigerator with the doors partially open so they don't get mold and mildew build up in there. We have the electric microwave stovetop range cover. We also have the 21 inch oven, uh, three burner stovetop. Over here we have the fantastic vent fan controls and an electric outlet. Solid surface countertops nice amount of drawers and cabinet space and these drawers are also fully extending ball bearing drawer guides. High-rise faucet with cutting board sink covers. We have a freestanding dinette with four chairs. The chairs also have storage built into the bottom of them. These just flip up allowing you to store things in there. Also, the table has a leaf extension on it, giving you a little extra elbow room. This coach has large overhead cabinets in the storage compartment, and even up above the reclining swivel chairs over there. We have a ceiling fan. We have a hide-a-bed air mattress sofa, which is a queen air bed, and also has a very large drawer built into the bottom of the coach that slides out. This camper has the optional end table and lamp. Also has the optional desk chair. We have the 32 inch Samsung TV, which is a flat screen HD TV. We also have the 12 volt Jensen AM FM CD DVD stereo system. And there is a place you could put a VCR or satellite box or cable box all, all down here as well too. This coach is equipped with uh, nice day-night shades, so you got the night part and even the day part as well too. There's also a little pull-out CD or movie case holder behind the TV as well. This coach is a side aisle bath, so it is an enclosed bathroom area as well. Located here next to the entry door, we have the electric box, which has your breakers and fuses. We also have a coat closet, so as you come in and out of the coach, you can hang up your coat. We have a little control center for the slide outs, power awning, security lights and interior light switches, monitor panel for the galley tank, the gray tank, the black tank, the fresh tank, and our battery power. Light the water heater on gas, water pump, ceiling fan on off light switch. On up into the bathroom area, here in the hallway, we have our air and furnace controls and a hallway light switch. We have a porcelain foot flush toilet. The bathroom has heat and air conditioning along with a roof vent in here as well too. Also has the skylight above the shower. Nice adjustable shower bar. Little garden tub area. If you got little kids it's good for them. Also a nice real wood medicine cabinet. Not a cheap plastic one you'll find in some. 
Again, this has been another video by Couches Campers. If you'd like, you could visit us at our website at www.couchescampers.com. That's www.couchscampers.com. Nice size closet. Also has washer dryer hookups for combination washer dryer, 19 inch flat screen TV.